guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my last video of 2018. That just blows my mind that it is already the end of 2018, like where did time go, how did that happen, I don't know. But since the end of the year is coming, I thought I would create a tutorial that is perfect for New Year's Eve. That is if you like a more pink toned look. So I've been doing New Year's Eve tutorials ever since I've been on YouTube and usually I go for like a more silver toned look or like something very like classic for New Year's Eve and I always pair it with a nude lip. But for today's tutorial, I thought I would do something a little bit different and use the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. I got this for Christmas and I was so excited to film a tutorial with it. This is what it looks like on the inside. So this palette is full of like more pink tone shades and I thought I would create a New Year's Eve tutorial using the palette. That way it is something a little bit different and I love the outcome. I love this look. So yeah, I'm not going to remember on too much. If you're interested in seeing how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching and let's just jump right into the makeup tutorial. Alright, so originally I was going to wear something festive, um, I had this like beautiful sparkly top on, but I was freezing, so I put on a sweater, it's less festive, but at least I'm not freezing. But I'm going to jump right into the tutorial by priming my face, and I'm going to use my Essence Prime and Studio Glow Boosting for Minimizing pr prim Primer, um, and this has blink. I cannot speak. This has pink clay in it, um, so I am going to use this today. And the reason I am using this primer is because it is New Year's Eve, well, not when I'm filming this, but the purpose of this video is that it is a New Year's Eve tutorial, and when you have like a special event or your makeup has to stay on all night long, it is not the time to start experimenting with new makeup. You really just have to wear what you know works best with your skin. Like this is the time to bust out all of your favorites um, and use them. That way you are sure that your makeup is going to last all night long. All right, so then for foundation, I'll be using my Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I am in the shade 170. This has been my favorite one this year. I will definitely be featuring this in my yearly favorites. And I'm also almost running out, so I definitely need to pick up a new one. But I'm going to see how much is still in here. Like, not a lot. All right. And then I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and start blending this into my skin. I really love this foundation because the finish is really nice. It is a very natural finish and the color matches me perfectly. So that is why I'm going for this foundation. It also lasts a pretty long time on my skin. So yeah. Also, I have a lot of like breakouts at the moment. I think I ate too much chocolate during the holidays. So yeah, we will definitely need to cover that up later on. Okay, so now that that is blended into my skin, I'm going to move on to brows. And to fill them in, I'm going to use my ColourPop Brow Color in the shade Banging Brunette, which is what I use almost every single day. And to set them, I'm going to use my ColourPop Brow Wash Gel in Clear. Alright, like so, eyebrows are filled in. And since we are going for more of a dramatic look, I am going to do my eyes before finishing up my face. So to prime my eyelids, I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, which I'm almost running out of. Again, this is my favorite and go-to eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to apply some of my lids and then blend it out using my Beauty Blender. Alright, so then for eyeshadow, we are going to dig into the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. I got this for Christmas and I am so excited to play around with this. Since every year I go for like a dramatic smoky eye that has like more silver tones and a nude lip, I thought I would change it up a little bit and go for something a little bit more pink toned. So this is what the palette looks like. The packaging is freaking beautiful. And then this is the palette on the inside. Again, so pretty. It also comes with a brush. So to set my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to pick up Hotspot, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to blend that up until my brow bone so that it is already a little bit highlighted at the same time. And again, because this is more of like a dramatic look, I'm going to apply some tape on my outer corners. That way we have a nice sharp edge we can work with. 
Then for my transition, I'm going to pick up Juicy and blend that into my crease. And to apply that, I'm using a ColourPop blending brush. So I'm going to pick up a little bit and start working that into my crease. And also, I'm going to blend it up a little bit towards my brow bone so that we have a nice gradient going on later on. Also, I plan on doing um, a more halo eye. Sometimes looks don't turn out the way I want to, but that is the plan um, for now. So what I'm going to do is definitely blend this out from inner to outer, from outer to inner corners. So I definitely want the same intensity on my inner corners as I have on my outer corners, which usually I keep most of the intensity on my outer corners, but today is going to be a little bit different. Like this is the first time I am using this palette and this shade is blending like a dream. Like that shade is basically blending itself, which is crazy and also I freaking love the tone of this shade. I love pink. Um, as you may or may not know, I am obsessed with pink. Um, so yeah, that is beautiful in my opinion. Alright, so that is about the intensity that I wanted. So then to darken it up a little bit, I'm going to pick up Feels. And I'm going to apply that right underneath. And to apply that, I'm going to use the brush that came with the palette, the more um, blending side. And I'm going to apply the shade just below that transition shade, but still focus it in my crease. And again, from inner to outer corner. And then I'm picking up the previous brush without any additional product. And I'm just going to make sure that the edges are nice and blended. Because we don't want any harsh edges. Harsh edges. All right, like so. And then for the more tricky part, we're going to darken up the outer and inner corners using the shade Devilish, which is this one right here. And to do that, I am going to pick up a more precise pencil brush. There is a little bit of powder kick up in the pan, so let's see if I will have any fallout on my face. Yep, so with this palette, you definitely want to do your eyes before your face. All right, then I'm also going to apply that on the inner parts of my eye. And then I'm going back in with the previous brush. And with the brush before that, to again make sure that there are no harsh edges. And then I'm also going to pack Devilish a little bit in my crease, but just a little bit right here. But keep that very low. And then again, blending with the previous shade. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of Juicy and work that in to my crease again, like so. And then I'm going to darken it up just a little bit more, like intensify it a little bit. If it's not looking perfect at this step, don't worry because at the end everything will look fine. You just have to be a little bit patient, especially with halo eyes. Um, and they're also not the easiest in my opinion, but I love the outcome. But so far these shades are blending so easily. Like, I am impressed. I do have a lot of fallout on my face, so keep that in mind. Um, but then before going in with the lid shade, I am going to apply a little bit of my NYX Glitter Primer. So I'm just going to pack this glitter primer on the center of my eyelids. And then for the start of the show, I'm going to pick up Turn On and pack that on the center. First going to try and use it um, dry, but let's see if it needs some help. That looks intense, but I think it could use a little bit of a setting spray. So I'm just using my ColourPop All Start Setting Spray. I'm going to see if that makes a difference. Yep, that does. So again, I am focusing this on the center of my eyes. Then using the other side of the brush, which is more of a pointed brush, I'm going to use Bang Bang to blend the two shades together. So right at the edges, I'm going to apply a little bit of Bang Bang, which has more of like a pink tone. That's not the good brush for that. And I'm wiggling that shade um, so that it blends into the outer and inner corners. And then going back in with Turn On. All right, and then I'm also going to pick up Devilish again and just make sure that everything looks nice and blended. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to use a hot spot, this one right here, and highlight my brow bone with it. Yeah, this is a palette that I would definitely recommend you do your eyes with first because there's a lot of fallout, but at the same time, the shades are pigmented and they are really easy to blend. All right, but then since this is a New Year's Eve look, I wanna add some glitter. So I'm going to apply a little bit of my Stila um, glow, glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow in the shade Perlina. So I'm just going to apply a little bit, really just a little bit on the center of my eyes, but I'm going to use my fingers to apply it. Okay, now I'm going to use a tube because that didn't do anything. 
Alright, then I'm going to apply some eyeliner and mascara off camera and I will be right back. Alright, so lashes are on. Now it's time to finish off the face before finishing off the eyes. So I'm going to start by hiding my dark circles using the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is in the lightest shade and I am almost completely running out of it, but this will cancel out any dark circles underneath the eyes, which I have a lot of. And I don't always use this product, but when I do like an extra glam makeup look, I definitely want to have concealed under eyes. That is already looking a lot better. So then for concealer, I'm going to use my Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer and I am in the shade Light Ivory. The shade Light Ivory is a little bit too light for me at the moment, but that is okay, especially for a glam look. I don't mind if it is a little bit lighter, but since it is so light, I'm also going to apply a little bit on the center of my face to balance everything out. Alright, so now that we have blended out the concealer, it is time to set that. And for that, I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder, which is in Translucent. Alright, so then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Catrice Luminizing Powder in Radiant Beige, which is a waterproof powder. A waterproof powder always comes in handy during um, like special events and stuff, so that way our makeup won't budge throughout the day. Alright, so then for contour, I'm going to use my Catrice Shape in a Box Contour Palette and pick up the middle shade right here and I'm going to chisel out my chubby cheeks. Also, I'm going to use that as a nose contour. And then for bronzer, I'm going to use the Too Faced um, Sun Bunny Bronzer, which... This packaging is freaking adorable and the bronzer is also really good. This is definitely my second favorite bronzer after the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's so good and the tone is beautiful. It is perfect for my skin tone. And then to clean up my bronzer and contour, I'm going to use this shade from the Catrice palette and apply that right underneath the contour so that it looks a little bit more sharp. Alright, moving on to blush, I'm using the Natasha Denona blush in the shade number 16. So this is basically like a... Is it broken? Nope, still alive. So this is what this blush duo looks like and what I'm going to do is basically mix the two shades together and apply that on my cheeks. Yeah, this tone looks beautiful with the eyes. I really love this blush with the eyes. That is a beautiful match. Okay, so then for highlight, I'm going to use the Flower Beauty um, Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette, which looks like this. So this is what it looks like, and I think I'm going to combine this shade with this shade, so the first two shades right here, and basically apply that until I look like a disco ball. You do have to be really careful with this palette because it is so pigmented. Like, I tapped off my brush and look what will happen. You see that? <laughs> that is crazy. Ooh, I love highlight. Look at that. Highlight no highlight highlight no highlight i mean that just makes a world of a difference in my opinion cupid's bow and a little bit on my nose not too much because i can get oily when it is like really hot so i don't want to apply too much on my nose all right so then before finishing off my eyes i am going to set my makeup using the colourpop all-star face setting spray this is my second favorite after the all-nighter by urban decay and on a night like this my makeup has to stay on all night long all right so then it's time to finish off the eyes so for my lower lash line, I think I'm going to go for... I might add Drunk Dial, which is this shade right here close to my waterline, and then blend it out using Juicy, I think. Let's see what that would look like. So Drunk Dial, close to my waterline. I know I said I was over the dramatic lower lash line, but since this is more of like a going out look, um, it can be a little bit more dramatic. I just don't like a dramatic lower lash line for like an everyday look. And then I'm going to start blending that out using Juicy. All right, and then to highlight my inner corners, I'm going to use Bang Bang and I'm going to pack that on my inner corners. Ooh, I like that. That is a pretty like pink toned highlighting shade and it is super intense. All right, now I'm going to add some mascara to the lower lashes and then it is time to move on to lips. Oh, I'm also going to add Dark Side by Urban Decay in my waterline. This is one of their 
um, what is this called? The 24-7 Glide-On Pencils. All right, now that the eyes are all done, it's time to move on to lips. Um, I'm not going to go for a nude. Normally, I would pair this with a nude lip, but since this is more of a glamorous look, I'm going to pair it with this, and this is the Tardis Lip Paint in Rosé. This is what the shade looks like, and I think this will look perfect with the eyes. See, so yeah, I'm going to go for something that is a little bit more different for me. All right, so this is the finished makeup look. So that wraps up today's makeup look. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this makeup and what your thoughts are on the palette. Do you have it? Are you going to skip on it? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys have an amazing new year. Don't forget to be safe and also really please do me a favor and don't drink and drive. It is dangerous and it can get you killed. So don't do it. Um, be smart. Take a cab. Call a friend. Call your mom and dad. Just be safe. And yeah. Don't mind this messy hair. I didn't do anything to it. I just let it dry and this is what happens. But yeah, New Year's Eve is definitely the time that you can do something more creative with your hair. I just didn't have the time to do so. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see what next year holds in store for us because I'm pretty sure it's going to be amazing. And I will see you guys next year in my future video. Bye guys. Say that it feels right.